Yeah. Bad boys. We got the streets. The rabbit got the gun now. <laughs> they no fun. Goat relationship advice. Treat the person how you want to be treated. It looks like Martin Lawrence might have just dropped the real reason why. Apparently, ever since Martin spilled some tea about Will, things haven't been the same. Y'all prepping together? Were you working out together? No, no, no. Will worked out on his own, I worked out on Nah, he started sneaking. He was sneaking working out. I was trying to... No more red carpet bro moments, no weekend hangouts, just radio silence. And now, rumors are swirling that Will might be done with Hollywood for good. I open the door to Dwayne's dressing room, and that's when I see Dwayne having a with Will. Will was bent over on the couch, and Dwayne was standing up. Him. Could it be that whatever Martin said hit too close to home? Some folks are even saying this could explain why Martin distanced himself from Will long before the slap scandal shook the world. The bigger question is, what exactly did Martin reveal that made Will vanish into thin air? The dynamic duo that gave us the Bad Boys trilogy seems to have hit the brakes hard. And it's not just a scheduling conflict. Nope, there are whispers that Martin has completely distanced himself from Will. And honestly, now that the dirt is coming out about what's been going on behind Hollywood's velvet curtains, it's starting to make sense. I told him I, I, told him I love him because I meant it. And uh, <laughs> now you see why we've been married 30 years. <laughs> yeah. Some insiders are saying that Martin has grown tired of the industry's dark side. We're talking the kind of stuff people in Hollywood don't want you to know. Backroom deals, blackmail, shady politics, and wild allegations that involve some of the most powerful names in the business. And Will? Well, some believe he might be more involved than we realize. After Will's infamous Oscar slap, the internet exploded with theories. Some called it a midlife crisis, others a desperate cry for help. But here's the catch. What if it was all part of a bigger pattern? A pattern that Martin might have seen up close and decided, I'm out. Because let's be real, Hollywood has shown us again and again that loyalty is a rare thing and people will switch sides the moment things get uncomfortable. Hollywood is just spineless, en masse. And uh, it just, it really felt like, oh, this is a really clear indication that uh, we're not the cool club anymore. Martin, who's always had more of a low-key life outside the spotlight, is now rumored to be reconsidering his relationship with Will altogether. And here's where it gets even more interesting. Sources are suggesting that Martin won't be returning for Bad Boys 4 despite all the hype. He's allegedly telling close friends he's done making movies with Will permanently. Why? Because what he's learned about the inner workings of the industry, and perhaps about Will himself, was enough to disgust him. There's a theory floating around that Martin might know more than he's letting on about some of the scandals linked to Hollywood elites. And that's why we haven't seen them hanging out like before. Some are saying Martin saw firsthand how the game was played, using scandals to manipulate public perception and ruin reputations. Others think Will got in too deep with the wrong crowd, and Martin's been silently backing away for a while now, hoping to keep his hands clean. Bad boys, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? So the big question everyone's asking is, could this whole mess be tied to Will Smith's so-called protectors? A lot of people believe the real reason Chris Rock didn't press charges against Will has to do with the kind of influence Will supposedly has in Hollywood. Like, the guy can basically do whatever he wants. Word on the street is that Will's power didn't come from nowhere. There are all these rumors about him getting involved in some activities you probably don't even want to know about for years. People have been whispering that he's done some wild stuff, including certain rituals and even gay encounters, all to keep that power locked in. And let's not forget, Jaguar Wright herself has spilled some serious tea on this. They're both bisexual, they do weird things in their house, and young men have left their house screaming to get away from them and their mentorship. If it was just Jaguar Wright saying this, we might brush it off as another wild claim. But as we saw in that clip earlier, someone even closer to Will, 
his former assistant and friend, Bilal, has stepped forward with some seriously explosive details. And then I saw that I one I walked in on. Who'd you walk in on? Him and Dwayne Martin. Okay. Hollywood is the hurry up and, and, and wait game. Maybe that's why Jada decided to keep her distance. If you haven't heard, Jada Pinkett Smith recently opened up about the struggles in her marriage with Will. In a sneak peek for an NBC News and Today show, special promoting her new memoir, Worthy, she revealed that she and Will have actually been living separate lives since 2016. Even though they've kept up appearances like everything's fine. The rumors really started picking up steam back in 2016, thanks to a now famous moment at the Oscars. That year, Chris Rock went in on Jada Pinkett Smith during his monologue. According to Rock, Jada had asked him to back out of hosting the show because Will didn't get a Best Actor nomination for his role in Concussion. And, well, Chris didn't hold back. He made sure everyone knew exactly how he felt about it. Jada's mad her man, Will, was not nominated for Concussion. I get it, I get it, tell the truth, I get it, I get it. You get mad, she said, it's, it's not fair. Both Jada and Will decided to boycott the 2016 Oscars joining other Hollywood stars in protesting the lack of diversity in the nominations, which sparked the viral hash Oscar So White movement. Despite Jada's request, Chris Rock didn't back out of hosting, and he didn't hold back on stage either. While addressing Jada's boycott, he joked, Jada boycotting the Oscars is like me boycotting Rihanna's panties. I wasn't invited. He followed it up with another jab. It's not fair that Will was this good and didn't get nominated. It's also not fair that Will was paid $20 million for Wild Wild West. However, Jada later opened up about what went down behind the scenes. She shared that the 2016 Oscars incident was resolved through a mutual apology over the phone. Reflecting on it, Jada admitted she hadn't realized the pressure Chris might have been under at the time. I probably should have called him and said, hey, are you okay? Just know I wish you the best, even though I'm speaking out about the Oscars. His feelings might have been hurt, she admitted. According to Jada, after that call, both she and Chris apologized to each other, and she thought everything was cool between them. I really thought the hatchet was buried, she said. We hadn't spoken since, not until 2022 rolled around. Jada also mentioned that after the 2022 Oscars incident, Chris apologized to her once again. The public couldn't help but notice how quickly an apology came after that slap, sparking even more speculation about Will Smith's influence. Some people think the whole thing just highlights the power Will holds. One internet user even wrote, if this didn't happen, I wouldn't even know the Oscars were today. But it's not just Hollywood where Will's control seems to reach. Many believe it extends to his personal life too. After their initial fallout, Jada and Chris smoothed things over with a phone call and Jada thought the matter was behind them. However, after the 2016 Oscars, rumors of a potential divorce between Jada and Will began to swirl. And then came the real curveball, Chris Rock reportedly asked Jada out on a date. In an interview with People, Jada opened up about the awkward moment. She explained how every summer, there were always rumors of her and Will divorcing. Every summer, all the reports would come out that me and Will were getting a divorce. One summer, Chris Rock apparently believed the gossip was true and decided to shoot his shot. Jada recalled, Chris thought we were getting a divorce, so he called me and basically said, I'd love to take you out. To which Jada responded with confusion, asking, what do you mean? Chris explained, aren't you and Will getting a divorce? Jada clarified that these were just rumors and there were no divorce plans. Chris was taken aback by the misunderstanding and profusely apologized. However, in that same year, Jada and Will were not residing together. And this revelation has recently come to light as Jada herself has openly discussed it, fueling the growing speculation that she and Chris were involved in something during that period. 2016, you and Will decided that you were going to live completely separate lives. Yes. It was... 
According to Jada, she and Will Smith have been living entirely separate lives since 2016, a revelation she shared in an interview with Hoda Kotb. The two who got married in 1997 had previously hinted at their ups and downs, but never laid things out this clearly. While they haven't filed for divorce, Jada explained in a clip from today that their situation feels like a divorce in every way except on paper. It was not a divorce on paper, but it was a divorce, Hoda said, and Jada confirmed, adding that they live separately. When asked why they never made a formal announcement, Jada said, I think it was just not being ready yet, still trying to figure out how to be in partnership and how to present that to people. We hadn't figured that out. Naturally, fans are now buzzing with theories, suggesting that her separation from Will might be tied to her relationship with Chris Rock, especially since it seems like she patched things up with Chris so easily through just a phone call. One person added, this is straight up abuse. She gets off on dragging Will's name through the mud and won't leave him alone. It's actually disgusting. She is so evil. Another one added, that's simply not true. She's trying to paint herself in a better light because she doesn't want the narrative that she cheated on her husband with her son's friend to stick. Now she's saying they were already separated. This seems like a new PR angle she's pushing. If Will and she had been separated for years, there's no way he would have reacted so intensely on such a significant night. The whole situation doesn't add up. But the evidence points in a different direction, one that seemingly has little to do with Chris Rock. Some sources suggest that Jada and Will's relationship hit rocky ground because of Will's alleged affairs with both men and women. Recently, Will's name has been making waves due to some unexpected allegations involving romantic connections with multiple individuals throughout his career. These rumors have sparked major discussions, and as the old saying goes, where there's smoke, there's fire. Adding to the intrigue, Will has openly hinted at his longing for some kind of escape from the pressures of his marriage, leaving many wondering if his desire for freedom played a bigger role in the couple's separation than anyone initially realized. Yeah. And we decided- I was done with you. You kicked me to I the curb. I was curve. done with you. While being part of an unconventional family with unique marital dynamics is one thing, it becomes an entirely different situation when persistent rumors suggest that your husband may be entangled in clandestine relationships, such as the current predicament in the Smith household. And it seems that the lady of the house has decided to openly disclose the reality. Yes. It was not a divorce on paper, right. but it was a divorce. divorce. So from the year 2016, which is seven years ago now. <laughs> yes. The journey commenced with the release of the timeless comedy drama, Six Degrees of Separation, where Will Smith portrayed a captivating swindler. The film attracted considerable attention when reports emerged that a kissing scene between Smith and his co-star Anthony Michael Hall had been surprisingly omitted from the final version. This occurrence set off a flurry of speculation. Was the renowned actor purposefully avoiding the kiss to sidestep potential scrutiny of his own S? These rumors have persisted over time and the truth continues to remain veiled. That Will Smith is bisexual and that they do this, this and that. Furthermore, in a 2020 interview, Will contradicted his earlier statements about not fully immersing himself in the character, asserting that he wholeheartedly embraced the method acting approach for six degrees of separation. You, you train your mind through blocking out Will and only living as the character. In a recent twist, Tisha Campbell has come forward with allegations claiming that Will Smith was involved in extramarital relationships with her ex-husband, Dwayne Martin. She took to Instagram to share a post that included a striking message stating, the truth always comes out in the end. No matter how many lies are told, this sparked a response from one of her followers who thanked her and noted that they lie in the end. Tisha replied, and you're right, they will lie till the end. The real Kiki is, well, people will stop believing him. Her choice to type will in all caps raised eyebrows 
leading many to speculate that she was indirectly referring to Will and Jada. This led to assumptions that there might be some truth to the rumors of an affair between Will and Tisha's ex, Dwayne, who is also a close friend of the Gemini Man star. Adding to the controversy, YouTuber Trisha Paytas made serious allegations against Will Smith, claiming he intentionally harmed her male dancers. She didn't hold back saying, how about worry about your daughter being in bed at 13 with her 20 year old boyfriend? How about worry about your uh, cheating husband F, one of my male dancers when they didn't want to? Cheating husband f my male dancers, you know, when they didn't want to. How about talk about that? However, it appears that Will might have been influenced by the path set by his predecessor, Quincy Jones. For those unfamiliar, Quincy Jones is a multi-talented individual who has worked with icons like Frank Sinatra, Aretha Franklin, and the king of pop, Michael Jackson. Yet, his fame doesn't stop there. Rumors about his interest in men have circulated for years, and recent developments suggest there might be some truth to those speculations. Well, my, my first musical memory is when I wanted to be a gangster until I was 11 coming from Chicago in the 30s. Recent disclosures have brought to light the possibility that Quincy Jones may not adhere to conventional S orientations. Startling allegations have emerged, suggesting that he wielded influence over the S preferences of notable individuals, including Will Smith and Tupac. These claims hint at his deep involvement within the LGBTQ plus community. Do you remember that unforgettable interview with Tupac? It was a pivotal moment when he revealed the questionable intentions of Quincy Jones. Yeah, I think these definitely, them rumors about Quincy Jones and all that crazy stuff about Pop was definitely rumors. Tupac allegedly claimed that Quincy Jones had made some inappropriate propositions, hinting at certain intimate activities, but the plot thickens. Despite this interview reportedly blowing up online, it mysteriously vanished without a trace. You have to consider that someone with significant power and influence could easily make that happen. With Tupac gone, it's no surprise that Quincy might want to distance himself from those allegations. Even Napoleon, who was said to be a close associate of Tupac, quickly shot down the rumors and defended Quincy Jones when the allegations came up. He dismissed all the gossip surrounding the situation almost instantly. Yeah, I think these definitely, them rumors about Quincy Jones and all that crazy stuff about Pac was definitely rumors. Pac was about to marry his daughter. And if you believe the revelations in there, think again. There are claims circulating that Jada and Will have been organizing unconventional gatherings at their residence involving much younger men. Jaguar Wright even went on to divulge sensitive information, suggesting that she has witnessed young men leaving their premises in a state of astonishment. Contrary to the perception of Will Smith merely being a typical father, expressing affection by giving his son Jaden Smith a gentle peck on the cheek, their dynamic transcends conventional norms. The duo's displays of affection have extended to a level that transcends the ordinary. On various occasions, Will has been observed planting kisses on Jaden's lips. While some might readily dismiss it as innocent paternal love, there are those who are beginning to raise questioning eyebrows. Speculations have arisen suggesting that these actions might signify more complex undertones beyond just affectionate bonding. That sh we saw on Red Table Talk, oh, that, that was that was G, that was G rated, that was, that was G rated shit. What I will say that I do know about the Smiths. The public reaction to Will Smith's affectionate behavior even prompted discomfort among his fans. Many individuals criticized him for seemingly making his son Jaden uneasy by frequently planting kisses on his lips. Despite the growing scrutiny, Will consistently refuted any insinuations of impropriety, maintaining his denial of any discomfort caused to Jaden by these gestures. On this matter, one person commented, that's disgusting, no one kisses their kids on the mouth like that, especially when the kids are teenagers. I can't believe people are cheering this kind of behavior. Rumors are in circulation regarding Will and his wife Jada, who allegedly hosts lavish gatherings at their home, often attended by younger male guests. These events, as revealed by the outspoken Jaguar, right, have been suggested to explore non-traditional boundaries. 
Some individuals even assert that they have personally observed young men leaving the Smith residence appearing agitated. The echoes of their distressing cries reportedly pierce through the night air, adding to the mysterious aura surrounding these gatherings. His, cor his corny overbrook ass was not built to be able to maintain the swag of a Baltimore chick. That is true. Delving into the origins of these extraordinary and unorthodox events, it seems that Will might have drawn inspiration from none other than the revered maestro Quincy Jones. This iconic music producer and musician boasts a storied career spanning decades, during which he has been privy to a myriad of experiences within the industry. Remarkably, he has not hesitated to unveil the hidden aspects and missteps of several celebrity associates. In a moment that startled many, Quincy Jones confided in an interview with Vulture magazine, laying bare the unexpected truth that individuals such as James Baldwin, Richard Pryor, and Marvin Gaye were queer. Here's what he had to say about Marlon Brando. He was the most charming MF you ever met. He'd F anything, anything. He'd F a mailbox, James Baldwin, Richard Pryor, Marvin Gaye. Following Quincy Jones' contentious statements, a prominent YouTuber raised their voice, alleging that Quincy himself identifies as BIS. Expressing strong disapproval of Quincy's inappropriate comments, the YouTuber pondered whether he was an appropriate individual to divulge anyone else's gender inclinations, given the nature of his own revelations. Quincy Jones, if you always tell the truth, well, tell me this. Are you bisexual? Will's bizarre apologies, public breakdowns, and sudden disappearance from the scene have only fueled the narrative. Some fans believe he's being blackballed by Hollywood after burning bridges, while others are saying he might have quit before things got even worse. And let's not forget, Hollywood has always been full of secrets. The question is, what does Martin know? And why is it enough to make him stop working with someone who was once his closest collaborator? One thing is for sure, Martin Lawrence isn't just avoiding Will for no reason. Whether it's fear of being dragged into more scandals, disgust with the industry's twisted politics, or something even darker, it looks like the bad boys era might officially be over. Because in Hollywood, it's not just about who you know, it's about what you know. And now, Martin might know too much. That's it for today, folks. Until next time, goodbye.